Welcome back to Studio Chatter. If you are looking for a fun family Halloween treat, then you must visit Glen Ray's Corn Maze. Welcome Kara Lewis to the table. Thank Welcome, you. Kara. I'm always love visiting with you ladies. Oh, this is your third yes, time, right? It is. That's so exciting. Yes, so this is, is your third year. It's our fourth year. Fourth year. Mm -hmm. Yep, we didn't catch up to you the first year, okay, but fourth well, year. Welcome back. Thank you. And congratulations on a, a long run. Four years is good. Yeah, especially surviving the COVID season and yes. coming out the other side, hopefully. And yes. Yeah, really fun. And things continue to grow. Yes, every we add new activities every year, mm -hmm. and so this year some of our new activities include um, some giant pedal carts. We have adult-sized pedal carts you can drive out through the corn or through the pumpkin patch, oh, which wow. is a, a lot of fun. Now, have I ever seen those? Like, have, I, did they're you, brand new this year. So and did you get the idea from like somewhere, or did you just invent um, this? No, we didn't invent them. We we have some cousins that had some. We thought, oh, that would be a lot so of fun. So it's like a bike. Mm -hmm. But it's like a four-wheel bike. Oh my gosh, oh, pedal cart. how cute. You can drive around. <laughs> well, my kids cute. always love to go, because, oh, and they're probably even getting a little big now. We like to get in the in the little train, okay. so we always go through the train, yep. and then we, we go over to the little barnyard, and even mm -hmm. I, I probably, I'm way too big, but I like <laughs> to get in the little corral and bounce around. Yes, well, and every, the big slide. Yeah, the giant <laughs> slides. Everything that we put there, we've tried to create so that little kids and big kids, you know, adults can enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, so our, all of our slides can be enjoyed by both. Um, most activities can. How big so. is your corn maze? The corn maze itself is seven and a half acres. And wow. so this year we actually added three different mazes within the, within the maze. So okay. we have a really short corn maze, which is really fantastic for people with, you know, small children, mm -hmm. toddlers especially. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a fun little scavenger hunt in there where they can find 10 animals that are hidden throughout the Oh, the that's maze. fun. Yeah, so if they find all 10, they get a little treat at our concession. So that just makes it a little more interactive. You know, right. Instead of dragging a kid through a corn maze, they actually right. get excited to go through. Okay. And then um, we always have our normal scavenger hunt, which is our corn fairy. I think I've talked about that before. So in, yes. our, in our large corn maze, we have 10 corn fairies hidden throughout. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what the corn fairy is, um, Glen Ray's corn maze is named after my grandpa. Mm -hmm. And he had the nickname of the corn fairy because he used to try and deliver corn to people's porches in the summer, mm -hmm. like all of his neighbors, and, and try not to get caught. And so they kind of started to, he has a great it. big baby blue cattle truck and they just knew who he was. Uh -huh. <laughs> he wasn't, oh, you know, couldn't move too quickly. So he got caught. That's so sweet. I love that. Yeah. that so is. we've, he's kind of become our little mascot. We have a little corn fairy on all of our, lots of our activities include that. And well, it so makes the corn fun. not as scary. Oh yeah. Because corn kind of is scary <laughs> when, when you, when you kind of think of children of the corn and whatnot. Right. Oh yeah. So for those that like to be scared mm -hmm. in the corn. And there are a lot. There's a new element this year. Yes. And you actually brought in a producer to help with that. Mm -hmm. So is this only on the weekends? What happens on the weekends? So we have our field of fright. Okay. open on the weekends. Okay. And we've always had the field of fright, but this year we have a, a new producer, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, her name's Sydney Neal, and she used to run Rocky Point Haunted House in, in Ogden for many, many years. <laughs> I don't like that. It scares me. <laughs> Will you go? Like, I'll be too scared to no, go. No, I probably wouldn't okay. go. But I know the, teenager, the teenagers oh, yes, love that sort of thing. Yes. Love it. yes, and so we just had our first weekend of being over uh -huh. with the Field of Fright. We've had great reviews. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. It's a really fun experience and for those. how long that... does it take you to go through the Field of Fright? So it's about a 15 to 20 minute experience, depending oh, okay. on... I always say, depending on how fast you're running. <laughs> mm, I like that. Oh, my okay. word. So it's a lot of fun. You go through their... You know, we have some of the normal type jump scares, but then we also have some really cool rooms and experiences within that. Okay, but it's all outside, correct? It's all outside. So, the, okay. yep, the Field of Fright is a separate corn maze from our regular corn okay. maze. So they're both going at the same time on the on the weekends. And that's also, I'm assuming, a different entry mm -hmm. fee as well. Yeah, so the Field okay. of Fright is fifteen ninety five. Okay. So per person, and we also have it. We added a Fast Pass this year because our line does get quite long. Oh. So you can purchase a Fast Pass for $5, go right up to the front of the line. Nice. Yeah. Everyone will probably be doing that, right? It, well, once you see the line out the, and around, you just pay like, another $5. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, what about, um, is there a family pass if you want to keep coming back to Glen Rays through, you know, right. all of October? So we do have a season pass. Okay. So you can purchase that on our website, okay. which is glenraiscornmaze.com. Um, the season pass is $39.99. And oh, then, yes. yeah, you can come as much as you want. 
And we also have family night on Monday nights, okay. which is a family night pass for $50. So regardless of you know your family size, just immediate family can get in for $50. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. What about concessions? Mm -hmm. So if you want to feed the family while mm -hmm. you're there. Okay, well our most famous concession item is our mini donuts. Mm -hmm. So okay. everyone, I mean people come just for the donuts. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> uh, we ha you can buy, they're just mini cinnamon sugar donuts. You mm -hmm. can buy them in a bag, in a bucket, and then this year we actually added two different varieties, a cinna swirl, which is cinnamon sugar donuts with vanilla frosting and sprinkles, mm. or a chocolate dream, which is mm -hmm. the chocolate chocolate frosting and Oreo cookies. And both Yum. of those have been really popular. Yeah, that sounds divine. But then we also have you know dinner items like we have barbecue pork sandwiches, corn dogs, nachos. Now, are these food trucks coming in, Kara, or are they? These are what we are produce. Making? Yeah, we make. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then you were talking about some special Saturday events. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about those. Okay, so this coming Saturday we have Superhero Day. Now so when you do, say this, um, what day is that? This is October 16th. Okay, perfect. October 16th is Superhero Day and we will have um, Spider-Man and mm -hmm. Captain mm -hmm. America coming. We actually have a private event where you can sign up and bring your little superheroes. They'll have a two hour interactive superhero training with them. Oh. Wow. And yeah, a lot of fun. Have, they'll have um, some food with that and okay. then also just have that interactive experience. So you can get tickets for that also on the website. Um, and then on October 23rd, we have our Think of Farmer Day. So one thing that we really try and do at Glenray is, is promote agriculture. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yes, we want you to come, we want you to have a great time, but we also want you to, we want people to remember, okay, this is, where does our food come from? Mm -hmm. And we actually have a little educational tent on okay. site where I you can I love come that, yes. Isn't that uh -huh, so fun? Uh -huh. There are some just hands-on activities where you can see, okay, a seed, how, what does a seed turn into? And it becomes this fruit or vegetable, and then it yep. becomes this food. And it's just really educational, yeah. especially for families with little kids, mm -hmm. and teach them that. Um, so yeah, October 23rd is Thank a Farmer Day. Okay. We have a large um, display coming in um, that is being put there by Stoats Equipment. They're bringing in some of their large their large tractors and just some okay. of that fun stuff that people love seeing. And then we have a private um, a private owner bringing in his antique tractors. So you'll be able to see oh. some of the tractors from like all through the ages okay. and how agriculture has changed kind of over the years. I like that this makes it like you kind of want to go every Saturday. Mm -hmm. Like the family mm -hmm. pass is great so you can go to these different right. events, right? Yep. And we just had Harry Potter Day and that was a oh. huge event. That was that was, you know, a couple Saturdays ago. So, do you encourage um, the little people to dress up like maybe on Hero Day to, oh, yeah. if they want to dress up as well? Yeah, we love to have them dress up. We have okay. a lot of you know, different activities. Well, you also brought these these little pumpkins and some gourds with you. Mm -hmm. Is it still, if you want to buy some pumpkins while you're there, you can Absolutely. take some home as well? Okay. So we Love actually that. planted over 50, or about 50 varieties of pumpkins this year. Oh, wow. So we have people come from all over the state just to come and get some different fun pumpkins uh -huh. for their mm -hmm. displays. Oh, oh I that's love awesome. that. So yeah. what is one of your favorite things there? I mean, you have a gob of things to choose from, but what would be... <laughs> Your favorite? Um, my like favorite activity yes. or favorite? Okay, well, one thing we've added this this year is giant hamster wheels, which for like people <laughs> for people. My husband oh, is a, my fun. husband's a contractor and he designed these, and basically they're a hamster wheel. You get in and it's a big rolling pipe that just goes around and around and in that place. Is, but in you're place. Moving. Okay. In place. But it okay. has been. We have so many laughs coming from. That. I just love. My favorite thing is watching people have fun yeah. and enjoying that time with their family. That's what we're about. Yeah. Is family time, getting together, building relationships, and just having a great time out in the country. Well, it's such yeah. a fun time of year. Yeah. So I'm guessing the 30th, which a lot of people will be celebrating mm -hmm. Halloween. Yes. That'll just be a busy, normal day. You don't have special events we that day. We do, actually. We will be doing a, a trick-or-treat through the corn maze. Oh, So oh, little okay. ones can come for that. Okay. Uh, we have actually some old-fashioned carnival games that will be going on throughout the day. And then that will be the last night of the Field of Fright as well. Is okay. that your last day that you'll be open That's as well? That's the last day. Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy? Like, you work all year to get to this one month and then you're just crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. finally here. It's finally Will you here. remind us what your hours are? Yeah, we're open Monday through Thursday from 4 to 9, okay. Friday from 4 to 11, and Saturday from 11 to 11. And then fall break will be open 11 to 11 every day. Oh, okay. So that's the good 14th, 15th, 16th. Okay, good, good to know. All right, well, awesome. We'll see you there again. Yeah, Thanks can't so wait much to have you come. here. We love having you visit, so come yes, on out. We'll be back. <laughs> okay. There's more studio chatter coming up.